How to unpublish your Shopify store. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you step by step how we can do so. Now, this could be for many different reasons. You don't want people to see your online store. Maybe you made a mess and you want to be working on it for a little bit more time and before, you know, you show it for people. Now, I'm going to show you two different ways that it could actually work. Uh, the first one is very um, simple. You just want to go to your, your admin in Shopify and then you just want to go to settings. And then from here, you just want to go to the plan section. And uh, if you actually have a plan, it there is an option to pause your Shopify store. Now, that option may or may not be available for you. If it is, then you can just go and click on pause on it. And it's just go going to pause your uh, Shopify store. And what, no, no one is actually going to be able to access it anymore. Until obviously you log in back again um, and you reopen it. In that case, it's just going to work again for you. But... I don't really recommend to go for that route. Uh, instead, we can just go ahead and do the other one, which is password protect our store. Uh, this is going to be a lot easier. It's going to look a lot better for our Shopify. And it's just going to let people know that we are under maintenance. It's just going to be a better option overall. So to do so, it is very, very simple. And by the way, what I mean by this is your Shopify store is basically just going to be locked uh, with a password. So only people that actually know the password will be able to access your store. So to achieve this, you just want to click on only store. And then from here, you just want to click on preferences at the bottom. So once you actually click on preferences, you pretty much just want to scroll down to the bottom or not really the bottom over here. So password protection. So all you need to do is just go ahead and turn this on, which is the restrict access to visitors with the password. So meaning only people with the password will be able to enter onto our store. So just go ahead and turn this option on. I can't, uh, you know, given my plan, uh, but you can just go and turn it on and obviously set the password that you want. So in my case, I'm just going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and we can also add a message to our visitors. This is actually going to show up on the top of the screen and it's just going to let people know whatever you have in mind. So for example, um, we can do something like uh, closed closed for now see you in 2025 or something uh, really it depends on how you actually want to put it for them uh, they will be able to see this anyone who tries to you know enter your site so just go in and set this up click on save on the top and you're pretty much good to go so whenever someone tries to visit your site they're going to actually see this screen hopefully it shows here for me uh, right here so close for now see you in 2025 opening soon and is not published for anyone except if they know the password if they do then they can just go ahead and do that and log in uh and then they can just go ahead oh this is the email i mean sorry enter password at the top one two three four five six seven eight and then enter and they will be able to obviously access your store so this is all for this video hopefully you found it to be helpful and thanks for watching